Well, hello my friends. It's not the morning, it's actually the night, so we're gonna go night vlogging. We're gonna go to Valletta, the capital city of Malta. And um, this is, you know, this is the hot spot. Everybody loves this place. I haven't seen any of it at all. So we're gonna see our first glimpse of it at night, then we'll check it out tomorrow in the day. Um, I've been recommended a restaurant, and one of the specialties here in Malta is rabbit. I've never eaten rabbit that I know of, so I kinda wanted to try rabbit soup or something like that and uh, just explore the city. So let's go, let's go hop on a bus and uh, see the city here. Many, many religious articles in Malta. Everywhere you look. And even a few telephones. All right, I got my bus and uh, that was a quick ride. That was probably not even five minutes to come see this beautiful fountain Totally worth it too. Where do you see what's holding up the disc of this fountain? Yeah, it's like three mermaid men or uh, Okay, that's probably not right, but I see Definitely a fin of some sort instead of legs beautiful It's kind of why I wasn't so disappointed that I spent so much time earlier in the day in Goza because Everything happens for a reason. I guess it just means I was meant to come see this at night. Now we're close enough to the faces. Take a look at their faces. So this is the Valletta main gate. This was not always the capital city. As a matter of fact, the first day that we were here in Medina, that was originally the capital city of Malta. And another UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's becoming like a badge of honor starting to collect how many UNESCO World Heritage Sites I can see in my life. Fortified city. Man, I hope seeing some of these cool places is inspiring you to go out and see something you thought you'd never get to see in your life too because I can't tell you, it's so much more fun doing it probably than even watching it. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of people walking around down there. They really let you get in and close, huh? Oh, check that out. Right ahead of us, I see some standing columns, which is clearly a archeological site. Something used to be there. Huh, take a look at that. Now it's just like a, a hangout place. People just hanging out on the steps, part of a restaurant. You gotta love Malta and its balconies. That's what it's known for. I hear some live guitar shredding. It sounds like Joe Satriani's in town. He's playing an Ibanez, I wasn't, I wasn't too far off. Look at the outside of this church. I love how they have that lit up cross right there. Wow. Now Valletta is like kind of called like the the town of palaces because everything that you're kind of seeing used to be a palace at one point that they've converted into using it for another purpose or a church. It's a heck of a lot harder vlogging out here at night too because there's a lot of young people and they're all trying to photo bomb everything I do. Take a look at that lion. Oh yeah. Perfect. That is perfection. Look at that guy. Watching over the city like a boss. See the bell up there? Pretty cool looking church. This might actually even be the, uh, the trackless train. You know, it's crazy. I was looking online for places to eat and they have a restaurant here called the Restaurant in the Sky. And you may have heard of it. What it actually is is they have a, a whole restaurant and they hook it up to a crane, like a, uh, a, big, a big long dinner table hooked up to a crane and that crane lifts you all the way up in the sky and then you basically sit up in the sky on that thing and eat. Lifetime experience, but no thank you. Yeah, this is where the meetup point for the trackless train is. Now what's kind of interesting about Valletta is that I know I've mentioned the artist Caravaggio before. He was a uh, 
someone who was heavily compared to Rembrandt, and he actually came and lived on Malta when he killed a man and was uh, fleeing. And so part of this building um, was constructed by him, worked on by him, has his brilliant touch. And if you look through this restaurant, you can see an amazing statue fountain over there of a knight of Malta on his horse. How cool is that? Now we're just out roaming around. And I'm looking for a particular restaurant that I was, I was recommended. Do we want to go this way? Or do we want to go down? Yeah, let's go down. Let's see what's down here, huh? This trip definitely would have been much more fun if Amy would have came with me. That's for sure. It's more, this, this place is more of like a, more like a couple's feel to it, I think. I think we're close to the water over here. People are just sitting here on the steps. Manuel Demesh. It looks like there's a picture of him there. When we take those stairs all the way down, it brings us to this church right here. It's dated 1689. The road less traveled. I would have loved to have seen what those cuckoo clocks look like. Oh wow, here's another one. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the whole purpose of the Knights of Malta was part of the Crusades, so it's going to be a religious area. You definitely wouldn't see this sitting on a doorway in Hollywood. Let's just say that. Observing Good Friday and having that. Oh, this is cool. I'm starting to see some blue balconies up there now. People are getting creative. A lot of Sicilian food here too, because we're so close to Sicily. Oh, even though I know nothing about Game of Thrones, I, uh, I noticed on Instagram that the, uh, the chair arrived in downtown yesterday. So let's go find it real quick. We might see it in the daylight too tomorrow, but let's go see it now, because I just remember. I hope this isn't one of those things that it was only out like one day and it'll never be out again. We'll see. It's supposed to be out in front of Parliament House. All right. Fingers crossed for the Iron Throne. Maybe it'll be out during the day if it's not out at night. Photo online shows that it was up here. Guys, I found it. I can't believe they just put this out a day ago. How lucky are we to be here at the time? I can't imagine it'll be out here forever, but let's check it out. All right, like I said, I'm not a fan of the show. I've never actually seen it, but I know they filmed it here in Malta, so let's take a look. I'm hitting it with my cell phone light so you guys can get a little bit more detail on it. And I say it's the actual one from the, from the show. Crazy as that. Look at the side of it, it's crazy. Well, for any Game of Thrones fans that may watch this channel, I hope you really enjoyed that. I think I've only seen one of them in my life. It was all right, but it just didn't like rope me in. Maybe someday it will, but hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Now back to the quest for dinner. I think I found a place while I was walking over here. Take a look at that up there. I found a place that serves rabbit, but they said that the kitchen was closed, so I opted for Sicilian food, and we'll try rabbit tomorrow. Yeah, I got a bit of a sunburn today, as you can tell by the eyes. But um, yeah, I didn't want to have the rabbit, like with the bones and all. The place that I found actually makes them into um, cakes, rabbit cakes, like crab cakes, I would assume. So I figured that I would try it like that. So I opted for the carbonara with pork cheek. I'm not sure that I've ever had crispy pork cheek, but we're trying it. Looks great. That was definitely a wise decision. That is some good stuff. All right, the food was good. I think we're gonna call it a night here. Come back tomorrow.
All right, gang, I think it was a cool way to get to know a little bit of Vallada by coming at night. Tomorrow we'll come back when we can see more things because literally things that weren't open will be open and we'll have more daylight. So have a great night. I wanted to thank uh, Kelly Eckleberry for becoming my newest Patreon and thank you everyone for watching. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye.